Hey guys, it's Joshua JTEC, and today I'm going to show you how to measure valve stem to guide clearance. Uh, I'm also going to go over the components in the cylinder head, and I'm going to remove the valve from the head, also put it back in using a valve swing compressor tool. Talk about ways to measure the valve stem to guide clearance. Um, Alright, first things first, I'll just go over some of the components. This is the cylinder head. Um, inside the cylinder head, you have your valves right here. Actually, come over here. Easier way to show it. These right here are your valves. This is going to be your guide, or, or uh, this is going to be your seals for the valves. Right here are the buckets. They sit right here inside of the head. This is what your camshaft rides on top of. Your cam presses down on this, and it pushes the valve up and allows it to come back. The spring allows it to come back. Um, you also have your valve springs. Um, and your keepers, they look like this. There's two of them. Let me get this other one out. These little guys right here, they sit right inside this hole and they prevent the valve from coming back up through the retainer. This is the retainer. Um, that's the valve train components. Um, I think all we're missing is the camshafts. Camshaft right here. This is where your timing chain would go over. This right here, these little notches is what the camshaft position sensor reads for timing and stuff. Um, I mean, there's also on the back side of this, we have, this is part of the actual cylinder. This is your valve seat right here, this, this part that doesn't have carbon on it. Um, right here is your spark plug hole. These holes up top, right here. These are going to be like your oil, uh, like your oil galleries, and these. This is your um, <clears throat> coolant galleries as well that flow through the block to uh, lubricate and cool components of the head. Um, the reasons why you would check valve stem uh, to guide clearance. Uh, the main one of the main reasons is oil consumption. Um, if it's loose, oil will come through the seal, and you will start losing oil. Um, you know, you'll, you'll probably notice driving, and I mean, it's not most of the time it's not anything that happens fast. It's like periodically. So, um, if you have that, you know, concern, you can. This is an easy way to check it. Not easy, but it is a way to check it. Um, first, you want to take your springs out and your retainers and keepers out. The, the easiest way to do this is with a socket that'll fit over here and a hammer. And basically you bang this like that really hard, which I'm about to do right now. And what it does is it pops the keepers out. Pops the keepers out like that. And you can push the valve out the other side. Just like that. You can inspect the, um, the valve as well as soon as you get it out. And also inside here are the guides that we will have to get out. Alright, so uh, just wiggle the seals to get them out. They come out pretty easy. Uh, usually you replace these. I mean, you can reuse them, but most of the time when they come out, they're not going to be perfectly round like they are when they're in there. Um, so that's really how to get the valve, spring, retainers, keepers out. Down here is the guide. This is the actual, What this is what we're going to be measuring. Um, to get our, our measurement for um, valve stem to guide clearance. So what you do is you take a split ball gauge like this. Uh, basically you just turn it uh, to the left. It'll help it close easier. If you turn it to the right, it'll spread it open. You stick it down here in this bore and you tighten it until you have a little bit of play in between the walls, just how a valve would ride in and out of it. <clears throat> All right, so uh, we're going to measure the split ball gauge reading, uh, putting it in the micrometer like this. All right. It's a little difficult to do sometimes. There we go. So we got 0.217. Point two one eight zero. Um, 
We'll measure the valve stem. Point two one five eight. Point two one five eight. We'll do some quick math real quick. So we have point zero zero two two inches of clearance. Um, this is right here. You just subtract. You subtract your valve guide measurement from your valve stem measurement. This is always going to be bigger than this because your valve stem is what's going to wear. So this right here is your valve guide actual clearance. Um, that's one way to measure valve stem to guide clearance. You can also, if you come back here on the back side of the cylinder head, once you you put, once you get the valve out, um, you can get it to where the valve, this is obviously on the wrong side, it should be up here. Let me go ahead and put it here. So you push it to where the valve is going to open to its fullest, you would put the, the uh, seal back in and everything, but you know, somewhere around here, you take a dial indicator and place the dial indicator just like this on the side of the valve, and you wiggle the valve back and forth just like that. And once you have it like here, it'll move the dial indicator back and forth and that'll give you the same measurement. It'll be roughly the same. Um, so you can do that with the dial indicator. Um, another thing you want to do once you have the head off is check, check the head for straightness and you do this, uh, and I think it's about eight different measurements you take or something like that. You would take, this is a straight edge, take your straight edge Lay it across the block horizontal like this, or diagonal like this, like this, and then you do a cross. And what you would do after that is you would take a feeler gauge right here. This is checking signs of warpage. If you have a warped cylinder head, you'll have to take it to a machine shop and uh, get them to make the surface flat again. If it's warped, then your gasket won't seal and you're going to be leaking coolant. Stuff like that. You know, if there's any clearance in between the cylinder head, you check on all these spots where you can. If there's any clearance, um, you got to check for your manufacturer specifications to see if uh, if um, if it's able to be machined or not. Um, if you don't have a feeler gauge handy or anything like that, just for like a quick way to check your uh, workage on your cylinder head, you can take a little light and run it along the back side of. Of the, of the straight edge, and if you see any ex excess amount of light, you can do it like this too. Then, uh, you know, you'll have like a, a considerable amount of clearance. Um, might want to get that looked at, and then actually take a measurement from it. But that's how you uh, measure valve stem to guide clearance. There's a couple different ways to compose the cylinder head. Thanks for watching my video.